With Prime Day coming up this week, I thought it'd be a good time to share all of the things I got on Amazon for my wedding that was a few weeks ago. Everything that made my wedding the perfect day that it was. All of these things are definitely wedding must-haves, so hopefully some of these things will be on sale. If not, I hope this video is still useful to you. If you are getting married, congratulations. It is definitely worth it, but if you are in the planning process, I feel your pain. You will get through it and it will be worth it, I promise. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The days leading up to my wedding, I had so many Amazon packages coming just every single day. All right, so let's start with what I gave my bridesmaids to get ready in for the day of the wedding. So I got this pair of slippers for myself as well, but I got a pair for all of my bridesmaids. So I got seven pairs total. And these slippers were super affordable and they're nice. Like they have a hard bottom, like that hard foam bottom and they're super soft. I feel like these are equal quality to ones that I've gotten from Nordstrom before and they were definitely cheaper than the ones I had gotten at Nordstrom. So that was a definite win since I was buying so many of them and then I obviously don't have the robes anymore But I searched through so many bridesmaids robes and I didn't want to get my bridesmaids basic robes I wanted to get them robes that were just a little different a little something more special than just like the basic satin robes So these are the ones I got they looked so great on everybody We don't have our professional pictures back yet, but they looked so so good on everybody And yeah, I hope everyone liked them because I love them I thought they looked amazing on everybody and they were just a little bit different than like your standard robe and it fit the color scheme perfect it just was a win-win and I got these on Amazon along with those robes and slippers I also gave all of my bridesmaids a hanger and I used my Cricut to have their name like stickered onto each of their hangers so that they could bring their bridesmaid dress in to the getting ready room on the day of the wedding I had a little ribbon which I will link down below since this is the same ribbon I used for my invitations I had like a little chiffon ribbon tied here and then it was really cute but I was able to buy this pack I think it was a pack of 20 so I was able to use them for my bridesmaids and now my now, now husband <laughs> He has some wood hangers that he can use for the rest of the pack that I didn't use and I didn't have to break the bank And still was able to give them nice hangers to have their dresses on all right moving on to what I wore getting ready This was the getting ready dress. I grabbed from Amazon. So this was like a last-minute purchase I kind of ran through the weeks leading up to my wedding like what do I actually need and because I really was trying to minimize buying things that were just very much just for the wedding that I would really never wear again. But when it's the day of the wedding and everybody's getting ready together, I wanted to look cute. I mean, there were pictures being taken too. So I'm glad that I ended up getting this and it wasn't expensive at all. It was just perfect getting ready little dress. Did not break the bank. I'm glad I didn't spend too much money on this because realistically, yes, I can wear this as PJs, as like a nightgown, but like it's very bridal. <laughs> like I'm probably not going to wear this that often. So I've seen some like really, really pretty ones that are far more expensive than this, but I really just needed something that was going to be very bridal for my wedding day and not break the bank And this one was a really good one on that same vein This is the robe that I ordered for getting ready in and it was perfect getting ready in a robe is just so convenient And so nice because it's really easy to get your hair and makeup done and be able to get in and out of and I like this one because it had lace sleeves So I felt like it was a little something different than just your basic satin robe and it was longer Which I liked so I got this one on Amazon too. of course be linked down below But this one was perfect got the job done and I thought it looked really nice so something I ordered that I actually did not end up needing so I did end up returning it because I actually was very lucky but I'm glad I ordered this I ordered this a week leading up to my wedding and that is veil weights I feel like this is one of those things where like if you needed it it would be really nice to have so it's like an emergency kit item and I can definitely think wedding TikTok for this because I would never think to get veil weights now we got super lucky because it wasn't super windy on our wedding day it was literally perfect weather it was like a little over overcast which I actually love because it wasn't too hot people were like oh it's a little cloudy and I'm like this is super ideal I think pictures look better it was just perfect it wasn't windy that's all I really could ask for is please just don't be windy I got these avail weights and I think it was perfect but I did end up returning them because I didn't even open them but I do recommend considering getting them if you do have your ceremony outside because you just never know okay so speaking of my veil I actually got my veil from Amazon it was only $26 here it is right here it's the most basic Basic veil you can possibly get here's the clip I did not want to spend a lot of money on something I would wear maybe for two hours and never wear again in my life so I decided to get the most simple veil I possibly could I have absolutely no regrets about this 
I feel like it was perfect. It went with the look. It didn't detract from my dress. And I saved so much money by getting this $26 veil versus like a veil that costs hundreds of dollars. So the day of the wedding, I was actually talking to one of my good friends who was a bridesmaid. And I was like, I should have asked you to borrow your veil because I don't actually have something borrowed, which I ended up actually having something borrowed, which is a funny story because my earrings ended up breaking. So that's actually a funny story. And I did end up having something borrowed, but she was like, yeah, I would have let you borrow my veil, of course. And it definitely, I would have wanted you to help me get my money's worth from this veil because I I did spend more money on it than $26. But I'm actually super glad I didn't borrow her veil because we ended up taking some portraits in the woods <laughs> right after our ceremony. This was kind of unplanned. We wanted to feel it out to see if we wanted to go off site. But we ended up going off site and into the woods and this veil was like getting dragged through dirt piles. And I would have not felt comfortable even bringing her veil out into the forest. With this one, I'm like, it's $26. Drag it through the mud. <laughs> and some of those pictures, I hopefully, I have a good feeling turned out really pretty with the veil in the nature. So it was nice not having to worry about this getting dirty and not having to worry about dirt somebody else's nice expensive veil. No regrets. I'm very happy about saving money on things that are just very wedding, very bridal because it is just one day, really. It's the most special day, but it really is just one day. Like, what am I going to do with this veil now? Does anyone want to borrow it? So next up, I actually can't find this and I didn't end up using these, but I did want to still mention them and those are these heel pads. So I got really lucky and my wedding shoes, I was able to wear my wedding heels all night long with absolutely no issues, which was kind of surprising because when I first put them on, my feet were already starting to hurt <laughs> a little bit. But I had something else that really helped. But I forgot to put these in my shoes. I do highly, highly recommend getting something like this and putting them in your shoes ahead of time because the day of gets very crazy. There are so many little things that I just did not have time to think of when I was getting ready. But these are definitely good to have and I'm glad I picked them up for next time because they are definitely something that you want to help alleviate any foot pain. This is what I think really saved me. So this is Asper Cream Lidocaine. This is pain relief spray. You can spray it on your feet even after they start hurting because it's just numbing spray. But basically if you spray this, we all sprayed this on our feet right before the ceremony. This helped so much and it worked instantly. I felt like it immediately made my feet feel better. All right, so let's go into some items I got for my bachelorette. So I actually did vlog my bachelorette. I didn't end up editing and posting this video. Sorry, <laughs> but I did go to Austin for my bachelorette. It was really fun um, and I had the best time. But here are some of the things that I got from Amazon for my bachelorette that I love that were really perfect. So the first thing was this white corset. This was so perfect. This was perfect for going out. I felt like it was bridal without being too bridal. It was super flattering, very on trend. I loved it. It comes in more colors than white too if you are looking for something like this and you don't want it to be super bridal. I mean, white isn't like, you know, you don't have to be a bride to wear white, of course. <laughs> but if you're going on your bachelorette, like it's always fun to wear white because people know and it's like, you know, it's silly. You know, it's like you're, you're on your bachelorette. Like it's just something fun to do. I also got these pearl earrings. So these pearl earrings are so pretty. I love them. They were not expensive at all. I feel like they're unique. They just dangle and they create like that perfect amount of like little something extra without being too much you know? And so this was definitely a very exciting bridal find that I found. I definitely intended to wear them more leading up to my wedding, but I actually forgot about them. So yeah, definitely pick these up though. You will definitely wear them and maybe do a better job than me at wearing them more than once. But in any case, they're very affordable, so you can't go wrong. We also had a pool at the Airbnb and we went tubing, which was so fun. So I got this white sarong and this is just a very basic white sarong. I feel like Amazon is a really great place to get basic basic sarongs because they have like every single color. I have a white one and a black one from Amazon and they're really inexpensive. Like I think this was $10. So hopefully it'll be on sale because I feel like sarongs are just a classic, classic thing to pick up. And it's just like so nice to have like just a little cover up and this white one, it was perfect for the bachelorette. All right, next up is the sweatshirt that I'm wearing. I made zip ups for all of the people that went to my bachelorette. So I got these cream ones for everybody else. And then I got this white one 
one for myself. These zip ups were surprisingly affordable for how good quality they feel. I've washed this so many times. So I actually made this myself on my Cricut. I bought just like iron on vinyl and then I made this design on Canva. And then the back, so the back of mine says bride and it says Austin 2022 because that's when I had my bachelorette was last year. But I am so surprised at how good quality this sweatshirt is because it was so cheap. Like it's still so soft and I wash this so often. I'm also super happy that the vinyl is staying on because I was nervous about it. This is the first time I've done iron on vinyl. And now I'm like, I want to make more shirts and sweatshirts because this craft was surprisingly easy and definitely already got my money's worth from my Cricut. But I use my Cricut so many times. If you are interested in learning more about all the crafts I do with my Cricut, definitely let me know because I am thinking about sharing all the crafts I did. I definitely got my money's worth by getting a Cricut to help DIY my wedding. But yeah, especially if you are just looking for zip ups, this one's a good one and it's so cheap. So part of the goodie bags I gave all the girls who attended my bachelorette last year was I have the black Lululemon crossbody bag. So I gave them all this pink one that I got on Amazon. I found such a good dupe. This is from Amazon and I bought like five different variations of like a crossbody pink bag. This one is by far the best one, but this one is so crazy similar to the one from Lululemon. It's actually insane. So I got them all this crossbody bag and then I just put removable vinyl on the front so that when we went out the first night, we were all part of like a little like bachelorette crew and then the letters just peeled off <laughs> and then everyone could just have the bag after the bachelorette, after, you know, they didn't have anything like bride tribe or like anything like on it that they couldn't take off. But yeah, definitely got a lot of really good feedback from everybody that they were super excited about this bag because it just felt such good quality and they have ones besides pink but like this was just it's like something they'll actually use all right this ring right here well I'll take my wedding band off actually can you tell which one is my engagement ring and which one costs less than $20 on Amazon this fake ring is actually crazy so this ring I got it to look exactly like my engagement ring which is moissanite but it's a real moissanite ring with like diamonds around it this ring is from Amazon it's just fake it's super cheap it is so pretty I could barely tell the difference I showed my husband when I first ordered this and he was actually a little mad. He was like, wait, why did I spend so much money on your ring? Why didn't you just get this fake one from Amazon? But this one is so nice to have for vacation. Anytime that I'm afraid of losing my real ring, I just wear this one. It's so pretty. They seriously look so similar and I'm not afraid to lose this one. Now I'm already starting to see it tarnish a little bit, which is of course, you know, to be expected. I've had this one for months now, like close to a year actually at this point. So it's only tarnishing a tiny bit for how long I've had it. It's fake, so that's definitely understandable. Definitely recommend getting yourself a fake ring for vacation because why not, honestly. And you can also test out different styles if you want to. Like I didn't because I love my engagement ring and I wanted to have one that was so similar that if I wore it on vacation, I like almost couldn't even tell. But you can even test like different styles if you wanted to because they're so cheap on Amazon. Okay, next up are these letters that we ordered. We ordered these the week leading up to our wedding because we spontaneously decided to write letters to each other and read those letters to each other right before our first look. We decided to do this because I really wanted in our video with our videographers to have more speaking parts than like than just like music in the background. I wanted it to share a little bit more of like who we are as a couple and a little bit more of our backstory and because a lot of the speeches from our family and friends were taking place at our rehearsal dinner and not at the actual wedding which my parents and my sister and Jonathan's best man they all spoke at our wedding which I hope is part of our video because their speeches were all so so good but because like we only had those speeches my videographer recommended that we write letters to each other in addition to our vows just in case so we got these letters they're really affordable super cute we actually lost the to my wife one right before our wedding it was like stuck in the envelope that it came in and so we didn't end up using that one but I did use the one that's to my husband on our wedding day and obviously I still have it it's gonna go in our wedding box and it's so beautiful and really inexpensive and just like an easy thing to pick up if you're writing letters to each other which I highly recommend if you're recording it or not it's just something really special to do and like really special to share with each other it was like one of my favorite things that we decided to do all right next up something fun that we decided to pick up from Amazon was these little butter mints so I love butter mints like the type of mints that like melts in your mouth so we picked up these ones they say thanks 
thanks for sharing our special day and you just get a bag of them they're pretty cheap on amazon and we just had them right by the bar during our wedding i felt like it was just like something a little extra a little thank you but like a little like a little treat you know like a little mint treat and i just love butter mints and we actually had some extra so <laughs> i was excited about that since they're my favorite we also got a bunch of liquid iv i love liquid iv and we did get this at costco i will link it down below because you can get it on amazon but we got them at costco because they were on sale we put them in our welcome bags at the hotel but we also had extra so our wedding coordinator she actually put them by the bar too and so many people grabbed them and it worked for so many people too like we got such good feedback that they're like i drank that powder that you gave me and i feel great I drank last night and I feel great. I have never felt this good after drinking. Like that powder really did work. So yeah, highly recommend Liquid IV. It really does help. We also got our vow books off Amazon. So we wrote our vows in these vow books so we wouldn't have to have a piece of paper up at the ceremony. I just figured it would be a little easier to keep them on hand. And so these worked out well because our color scheme was mainly like sage green, gold, cream, like neutral, but it was like a summer kind of neutral, if that makes sense. We picked a sage green because I felt like it was like almost like a floral neutral because like there's greenery in like all florals and then we had like oranges and pinks in the florals themselves but anyways these vowel books matched our color scheme perfectly they were great and we got them on amazon it was perfect and now these are perfect to put like in our wedding box and yeah i just reread my husband's vows and you know like when you're up there it's like they're special but like i didn't remember everything and it's like wow those are so special so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to like being able to reread them from these little books one of the diys we did and just something useful that we crafted was our name cards i got these ones off amazon and then i also used them to make these little baggies for homemade dog treats so i got these plastic baggies and then and I made really easy homemade dog treats and then I just stapled one of these name cards onto the baggies just like this but it worked out perfect because I was looking for labels that were like meant for baggies like this and these ones that were for name place cards actually worked out better than the ones that I saw and were cheaper so just something to keep in mind if you are looking to do something like this these name plates worked out perfect and we just made the names out of our Cricut and it was pretty straightforward and easy and turned out really nice and saved us a lot of money doing it this way because from Amazon it didn't cost that much money to buy just a bunch of nameplates all right next up I got these acrylic gold signs so I actually painted the back of them but this is what they normally look like but they come in a pack so we definitely had enough to like sign everything that we needed to and you can just put a piece of paper in the acrylic sign but I feel like that kind of looked kind of basic so I wanted to paint them to kind of give that illusion of like just kind of make it look a little nicer so this was our signature drink sign if you can see it we had the manhattan espresso martini and scotch and soda as like our favorite cocktails we had an open bar but those were like our favorites and so we just made a little sign for that kind of make it a little personal to us but also just like give people little recommendations in case they go up to the bar and they're like oh i don't know what to order there's so many choices so we had this for our signature cocktails and then we had this acrylic sign for our mocktail and then i also made this from the cricket too and we had a signature mocktail that our venue helped us create and we called it the sugar bean peach mocktail because I call Gary sugar bean because he is like a little sugar bean he's like the color of sugar and he's just like a little bean so yeah we were able to make this little Gary out of the Cricut too so yeah these acrylic signs turned out really nice and we were able to get a whole pack for a pretty affordable price for signage because signage was definitely something that I did not want to spend a ton of money on because I knew that signage was going to be one of those things where like I'm not going to use it after the wedding like these are really nice to keep because they're so personal to like our drinks but I didn't want so many generic signs and I didn't want to break the bank making a ton of generic signs something else we had at our wedding is we made a cornhole so we didn't make it we bought one but we did personalize it and it came with bean bags that were green and red which was not the vibe for our wedding so I ordered these ones off Amazon black and white pretty simple but just an option for you if you do do cornhole is you can get pretty much any color combination off Amazon so definitely recommend checking there if you do want to do cornhole and the bags they come with are just not the color scheme you're going for but yeah it turned out really nice and I'll probably 
probably have that in the Cricut video too if you are interested in learning more about how to like put a logo on your cornhole board but it turned out really nice and it looked even better because we had these black and white bean bags versus like any other a color that kind of clashed with our color scheme at our wedding so something a little silly and cute that we wanted to do with our cake I saw this on Pinterest and I loved this idea is have a little dog on your cake so I got this one I just got it on Amazon it was super affordable and this looks like Gary it's just a toy golden retriever and our wedding coordinator is amazing we just told her do whatever you think is best here is the dog and her and our florist made our cake look so amazing and I actually I was stunned because the cake was so low on my priority list I had no inspo pictures besides this dog I was like I would like this dog on the cake somehow <laughs> um, but I was like the cake is just not it's not important to me I'm not a big cake person just to make it look not basic I guess and when I saw my cake I was like oh my gosh that cake is gorgeous yeah I was super happy with it and yeah I actually also enjoyed the cake cutting more than I thought I would too like I didn't think cake cutting really was that important at all I thought it was one of those cliche th traditional things you do just because it's traditional but we did do a cake cutting and we did the whole announcement and everything we did it to cake by the ocean because our wedding was by the ocean <laughs> and it was so much fun yeah this was definitely something that like made a very basic wedding cake cute personal we just added a little touch of Gary all right so let's move into some beauty must-haves that definitely helped me prepare for the wedding so this is a bit of a splurge because they are disposable but these are disposable towels they're called clean towels XL oh. Don't mind me if I throw them across the floor. They're not super, super expensive, and I'm actually so glad I got these. I got these in the three pack. I gave my skin the best chance of not breaking out before the wedding, and I think I achieved that, which is awesome. So I got these towels, and basically it just helps you make sure that you're using the cleanest towel possible every time you wash your face. So I only use these when I'm washing my face after makeup, because if I didn't wear makeup throughout the day, I just use like a reusable bamboo like little thing with a micellar wipe. But if I'm going Going to be like full-blown double cleansing my face I dry it using one of these clean towels what I also love about these two is after I'm done drying my face with it I'll use it to wipe down my sink so I feel like it really helps me maintain the cleanliness in my sink area too so that's kind of a two-for-one it literally says that on here maximize your clean towels use by cleaning your counter and sink before tossing pro tip but these really are nice and handy next up I did self tanner for my wedding it turned out perfect I just used the Saint Tropez self tanner I will link that one down below even though you can get it lots of places you can get it on Amazon you get it from Nordstrom I think it's part of the anniversary sale that's coming up you can get it anywhere but this back applicator I recently purchased this has fixed my problem of not being able to get this one patch in my back usually I'll have my husband help me but it's nice not to have to grab him because he hates it he hates the smell of the self tanner he just yeah he does not like it so it's nice to have this back mitt to be able to apply my self tanner by myself and so highly recommend this if you have that same problem and it's only a few dollars so I'm definitely a skin picker like if I have a pimple like I it's, it's almost impossible for me not to pop it so leading up to my wedding I tried really really hard not to touch my skin because I obviously I don't want like any scarring or anything so I really depended on these mighty patch pimple patches now these I use all year round but especially leading up to my wedding I was like instead of touching my skin if there's like a clogged pore or anything I put these on I put them on early I put them on liberally because I did not want to risk not having clear skin on my wedding so definitely recommend these they worked super super well I don't know how it does it but it literally will pull out everything and yeah I get them off Amazon they're 36 and here and fun fact if you happen to have HSA or FSA dollars you can use them to buy this just in case you didn't know these are the lashes I wore on my wedding day I tried out so many different lashes and I did get my makeup professionally done which I actually thought leading up to the wedding this was going to be one of my regrets because I was so nervous about it I don't know why I was so nervous about it but it turned out amazing and oh my gosh I'm going to link the information to my makeup artist down below because she did an amazing job but I did decide to bring my own 
lashes because I am very very picky and I feel like a lot of lashes just don't look good on my eye shape and during the trial we did struggle to find lashes that I felt like looked good that I felt the most comfortable in and I felt the most myself in so I did bring my own and when she saw these she was like wow like she took a picture of them she was like I think I'm gonna add these to my kit because they are so lightweight and they look so natural but also so much volume they are the naked lashes by Ardell this is in the style 424 but I actually like any style in this line and what makes these lashes so special is the invisible band it just it's so much easier to get so much closer to your lash line with the band that's like basically non existent so yes these lashes were perfect highly recommend if you're looking for a perfect wedding lash also something I did end up returning because I forgot them <laughs> I didn't bring them to the wedding which is why I actually ended up borrowing earrings from my sister the day of my wedding but I bought these earrings from Amazon. I actually got this recommendation from another YouTuber. She got married years ago. I will link her video, but she linked these earrings. And so I will link them too, just in case you are looking for an affordable pair of wedding earrings. They're beautiful, but I didn't end up wearing them because I forgot to bring them to my wedding, but they're beautiful and they would, would have been perfect. So yeah, I'll link them down below. I wanna quickly go through the items that I used to create my invitations. So I did like a semi DIY. I bought the base off of trulyengaging.com because that was the most affordable. So I think all of our invites cost like I think $1.10 each and they're basic. And then we spruce them up by all of these things I got off Amazon. So I got this chiffon ribbon and this is what I tied and sealed with a wax seal. I got these wax seals and I looked for one that was a very specific shade of gold because I really did not want a yellow gold. I wanted like a champagne gold. That is what the gold I was going for throughout our entire wedding was a very light colored, just not too yellow or bronze, just very almost like whitish gold, champagne gold, you know? So we got these wax seals, which ended up perfect and then we used this foil leaf. Now foil leaf got really messy, but I will say our invitations did turn out really beautiful and I'm very happy that we decided to use the foil leaf because it added that little extra pizzazz. We also bought the vellum paper. I just bought the full ones, but you can buy them on Amazon already trifolded. But because we had a paper cutter, I just went ahead and measured them all out, saved some money. So I did buy this pack on Amazon, which is way cheaper to fold them yourself. And this is how we made all of our invitations. Also quickly want to mention that we made our seating chart which was a bookshelf. This was one of the most complimented pieces of decor that we did and also one of the most time consuming things we created for our wedding. 100% worth it though. Absolutely worth it. My husband is a huge reader. It definitely was true to us too. But I bought these paper rolls on Amazon to wrap each of the books and then use my Cricut to write everybody's names on them and it turned out really well. If you are looking for affordable cardstock kind of rolled paper like this definitely Amazon because going into this project I thought I was going to just buy normal wrapping paper somewhere or go to the craft store and buy scrapbooking paper but this was by far the most affordable option and it turned out so well and we still have like so much of these rolls left so we can use to like wrap presents in the future or whatever we need to do honestly pack to package things there are a lot of uses when it comes to paper like this and it's just a lot more affordable on Amazon all right so this dress right here. I stumbled upon this dress about two to three weeks before my wedding and I already had a dress in mind that I was going to wear for my rehearsal dinner and I decided to just buy this dress <laughs> and wear this dress instead because I fell in love with it. It is a dupe for a Zara dress that went super viral. I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore. When I checked they did not have it in stock when I was looking for it but they might bring it back every year. I'm not sure but it is a dupe for that style. I was super impressed when it came in it was very flattering beautiful fabric felt really high quality and I was just really ecstatic about this dress and I have like an extra white dress I didn't even end up wearing but this dress was under $30 I like could not pass it up because I just like fell in love with it anyways highly recommend this dress I thought it was an amazing find if you're looking for a white dress for any occasion next up is this purse I used this purse so much and I will continue to use this purse even though I'm no longer a bride <laughs> I will still use this purse I mean, it's summertime. This will match with everything. But this purse, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I bought it initially for my bachelorette, but I knew I would be able to wear it throughout everything. I wore it to every bridal event. I wore it to my rehearsal dinner, to the night before, to the wedding itself. I had this at my sweetheart table. It was perfect. It fits everything 
I need. I am amazed at how high quality this purse feels for how inexpensive it is. I actually was inspired to look for a purse of this style because I saw this really expensive one on Nordstrom during their anniversary sale last year. And I thought it was beautiful, but like, I was like, I'm not gonna spend that much on a white purse. That just seemed a little crazy to me. I'm so glad I found this one. It's so beautiful. And I didn't break the bank. It's a win-win. This one is one of my best wedding finds that I found on Amazon. I gotta shout out these Purple Tree Vitamins. These are the most effective hangover prevention that I've ever tried. Liquid IV is great too, don't get me wrong. I love myself Liquid IV. I also like um, other electrolyte tablets that I've used and just like obviously just, you know, drinking water. <laughs> but these vitamins that they recommend you taking before and after drinking, I think these are the things that most effectively help me feel better the next day. And we didn't go crazy by any means. I actually felt like I didn't drink as much as I was expecting to on my wedding day because I felt like I didn't need to. I was so happy. I was so like excited and just so like lively and like I felt too busy to drink but also like I didn't need to drink because I was just having so much fun that I didn't feel like I needed to which is great but also I woke up the next day and I felt awesome. So yeah definitely super super happy that I took some of these vitamins and definitely recommend giving them a try because they really do work. All right so that is it for all of my Amazon favorite wedding finds. Now I will say of course the thing that made our wedding the most magical was our amazing family and friends. It wasn't any of this random stuff that I bought leading up to the wedding. But you know, some of these things did make it a little bit easier, did save us from some day of emergencies. So, so I did wanna share, but what really is most important on your wedding day is being able to celebrate marrying the person that you love and being able to do so with all of your closest family and friends. And you can't find anything like that on Amazon. Let me know what your wedding must haves are from Amazon. I would love to hear about them. And in this video, I'm also going to be sharing what we asked for on our wedding registry and what I'd also recommend as your wedding registry essentials, because I have a feeling a lot of those items are going to be on Prime Day sales too. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click over here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.